Hey there, movie enthusiasts! Get ready to embark on a nostalgic journey back to 1989 as we delve into the captivating world of White Wedding. The film kicks off with a man named Francois, who happens to be the professor of a class. One of our students, Matilda, arrives a whopping 45 minutes late. This understandably annoys Francois, prompting him to inquire about the reason for her tardiness. However, Matilda remains silent, which only fuels his anger, leading him to ask her to leave the class. After the class concludes, Francois stumbles upon Matilda lying at a bus stop, surrounded by concerned onlookers. Approaching her, he discovers that she has fainted. Without hesitation, he takes it upon himself to escort her back to her home. It is there that he learns Matilda lives alone due to her parents' divorce. Despite offering to call a doctor, she declines the offer. Touched by her unfortunate circumstances, Francois assures her that he will visit her after class to check up on her well-being. Returning to school, Francois comes across Matilda's grades and is taken aback by her poor performance in all subjects. Determined to offer support, he pays Matilda another visit. Grateful for his assistance, she expresses her gratitude before excusing herself to change clothes. As Francois prepares to leave, Matilda stops him and implores him to stay. Agreeing to her request, he patiently waits as she gets ready. Curiosity piqued, he asks her why she hasn't moved to Paris to live with her mother. Matilda reveals that her mother is mentally unstable and has made attempts on her own life multiple times. Furthermore, she informs Francois that her father is equally indifferent towards her. In turn, he shares that his wife manages a bookshop and writes articles. Just as their conversation deepens, Matilda's telephone rings. However, she chooses to ignore it, instead extending an invitation to Francois for lunch as a gesture of appreciation for his care and concern. Accepting her invitation, they both head to a nearby restaurant. Over lunch, they engage in a heartfelt discussion about Matilda's academic struggles. After dinner, Matilda confessed to him that she appreciates him for who he is, as lonely as she feels. However, he mentioned having a wife, friends, and students. Despite this, he reassured her that she will find someone special and dropped her off at her house. Reminding her to be punctual for school and focus on her studies, she promised to do so and gave him a kiss on the cheek. The following day, Francois delayed starting the class as he awaited Matilda. When she arrived, he began the lesson. After posing a philosophical question to the class, Matilda eagerly raised her hand to answer. Impressed by her response, Francois asked her to take over and explain the concept to everyone, realizing her exceptional intellect. After class, he commended her hard work and encouraged her to continue. Matilda invited him to visit her home if he wished. Later that day, professors convened to discuss Matilda's case for expulsion or retention. Francois successfully persuaded them to give her a second chance. He then visited her at home to tutor her and help improve her grades. During the lesson, a guy appeared outside her house, prompting Matilda to briefly step out to meet him. Upon her return, Francois inquired about the visitor, to which she claimed he was a childhood friend. However, he remained suspicious and pressed her for more information. Matilda evaded the question, causing Francois to leave in frustration after catching her taking money in secret. Upon returning home, his phone rang, with Matilda wishing him good night. That night, his wife Catherine sensed something was amiss and asked him about it. He brushed off her concerns, but when she inquired about the student who called, he shared the situation, emphasizing Matilda's exceptional abilities despite her young age. Catherine jokingly asked if he was in love with her, to which he denied. The next morning, his phone rang again. Catherine grabbed it, but it was stuck. It happened twice, and when the phone rang again, Francois answered and it was Matilda. Catherine questioned Francoise about why the call got disconnected when she picked it up, but he ignored her and walked away. The next day, everyone had their exams. During the test, he sat next to Matilda and began helping her. Matilda touched his hand affectionately, but he got up. However, that's when he started daydreaming about her. Later at her place, he continued teaching her some lessons. This routine went on for a few days. But one day, Matilda didn't show up for class. Concerned, he went to her house. No one responded. Just as he was about to leave, he noticed the same guy leaving with a group of children. He returned to the house in frustration and began shouting at her. He threw things in anger and interrogated her. Matilda told him she was happy, which made him envious. She then kissed him and undressed. They began spending time together and being intimate. He also continued teaching her. One day, when he got home, Catherine sensed he was keeping secrets from her. She suspected he was in love with the girl and being unfaithful. However, Francois denied it. One day, teachers praised Francois for giving Matilda a second chance as she was showing great improvement in her studies. Matilda surprised him there, and they kissed before leaving in a car. A teacher witnessed it so they went to her house, where they made love and discussed traveling. Suddenly her phone rang and she was informed that her mother had attempted suicide again. She said she had to go see her as it was serious. 
Matilda also revealed that she had been a prostitute in Paris for a few years. He was shocked, but Matilda assured him she loved him and had left that life behind. He found it hard to trust her and began to leave. Matilda tried to seduce him, but it didn't work. When he got home, his phone rang again, but this time he didn't answer. Catherine began to question her, causing her to break a glass in anger. She then started crying and locked herself in a room before leaving the house without any assurance from him. Now, he was left all alone and started losing interest in everything. He used to wait in front of her house and wait for her call. One day she called him and expressed how much she missed him, promising to return soon. Francois reciprocated by saying he missed her too and loved her. One day while he was sleeping, his telephone rang. It was Matilda who instructed him to look outside his house. He found her there, hugged her, and they both made love. Matilda then asked him to leave his wife and be with her, but he refused due to her age. She professed her love and care for him, claiming she had never felt this way before. Matilda requested one last time to make love to her, promising to disappear afterward. After a few days, his wife returned and expressed relief that he had stopped seeing Matilda, assuring him that he would get better soon. Francois revealed that Matilda wanted him to leave his wife. One day, while teaching a class, Francois noticed Matilda getting close to another guy, not paying attention in class, which angered him. To make him more jealous, Matilda started kissing guys in front of Francois. This behavior upset him, but he felt powerless. He slapped her upon witnessing her making love to another guy. That night, Catherine informed him that Matilda had threatened to kill her, but Francois chose to ignore it. The following morning, he requested the teacher to expel her, but she explained that there was no valid reason for it. Suddenly he got a call from his wife. He rushed out of the school. Upon arriving, Catherine informed him that Matilda and her friend had attacked her bookshop, breaking glasses. They also damaged her car while she was on her way to the bookshop, and even her editor was receiving threats. Filled with anger, he stormed back to the school and pulled her out of the class to have a private conversation. He ended up slapping her but she confessed her love for him. After another slap she hugged him, he hugged her back, and they both started kissing. Unfortunately, a teacher caught them in the act. Just then a student informed the teacher that the headmaster wanted to see Matilda and Francois urgently. The teacher left with the student. Another student came to retrieve his bag from the room and witnessed them kissing. He shouted to the other students, who all rushed to the window to see what was happening. Due to their inappropriate behavior, Francois faced disciplinary action from the school and was transferred to another city. Tragically, Matilda's mother passed away the next day. Catherine was deeply hurt and couldn't forgive Francois. They eventually parted ways. A year went by. He was teaching a class when he received a call informing him about the death of a girl named Matilda and asking him to come to the palace. He went and saw her lifeless body. Overwhelmed with guilt and sorrow, he learned that she had been sitting by the window all day since arriving two months earlier. Looking out of the window, he could see the gate of his classroom where he used to teach. A message on the wall read, Francois, the ocean is there upon seeing it, he made his way to the ocean, where he pondered over her and the decisions he had made. And that's where the movie concludes.